Hi everyone, this is Anindita Paulus and in today's video, I actually wanted to do a small little experiment based on Dr. Masaru Emoto's experiment. In fact, if you have taken any of my workshops or even been following me on YouTube, I have spoken previously about the experiment that Dr. Masaru Emoto in Japan did many decades ago in which he studied the impact of thoughts and emotions on the world around us. He primarily started by studying the impact of thoughts on water molecules and he showed how water holds on to memory imprints or energy imprints. If you haven't already seen my previous video, you can watch it here. It's also in the description below. So in this particular experiment, I wanted to redo the rice experiment that I read about many years ago when I first came across Dr. Masaru Emoto's work in the hidden messages in water. And in the rice experiment, what they did was they stored small quantities of cooked rice and they placed different words on each sample. And depending on the energy of those words, the rice spoiled at different levels. Even though it was exactly the same variety of rice, which was cooked at the same time and the same quantity, everything was same. However, based on the energy of the words or based on the vibration of the thoughts that the word inherently emitted or carried, the rice started decaying at different rates. Certain words prevented the rice from decaying faster and certain words caused the rice to decay faster. So in this experiment, I have five little mason jars like this. And I also have five different words written on this slip of paper. And I will be pasting these words on each of these rice samples. I have some freshly cooked white rice. And I will be putting equal quantity of this rice in each of these mason jars. So here is one scoop. Here is a second scoop. And here is the last one. It's more or less equal quantity in every container, as you can see. Put one scoop in each. And now I'm just going to close the lid and I will let each of these containers just sit outside, not in the fridge. Just in a corner in my home. And I will put on each of these containers one of the words from the stickers. The words are love, peace, hate, anger, and Om, which is the universal sound of creation. A lot of people, especially in India, they call it Om, but the original word actually is Am, which is A-U-M. I also have a tendency to say it as Om because that's how I grew up hearing but the actual word is Aum. So these are the five words that I have and I'm going to place them on each of these containers. I will be following up, checking every single day, but for the video, I think I will be following up on the fifth day, just so that there is something actually to show, because I think the first few days, there wouldn't be much of a change. So on the fifth day, I will show what happens to each of these containers and I will keep you posted right on this video. So now I have these five containers, one with the word anger written on it, one with hate, one with um, the universal sound of creation, one with love and the other one with peace. 
and I'm back with my rice samples. It has actually already been 12 days. I said previously I'll be back in 5 days but I kept on checking and after 5 days it was still not showing much signs of any change. So I was checking it every single day because I wanted to have some visible signs for it to show on the camera. It has already been 12 days since I started the rice experiment and I'm not sure if it will still be visible in the camera or not. But I have all the five rice samples with me right now and I will be opening them up one by one. So I want you to take a guess and write down in the comments below what you think or which sample do you think has spoiled the most. Peace, love, anger, hate or um. And which sample has spoiled the least? Just pause this video and write in the comments below which one do you think has spoiled the most and which one you think has spoiled the least. And let's continue. I'm going to be opening each sample one by one now. And I will try to show you what I see here. I'm not sure how much the camera is going to capture. So right now I just opened the one with ohm on it, the primordial sound. And as you can see here, the rice is primarily still white, but there are some places these yellow spots are there at few places. So, of course, it has been already 12 days. So, of course, it is going to spoil. It has some yellow spots, but it's not extremely spoiled. I was actually a little scared of opening it. I thought it was going to smell really bad, but it doesn't really smell, even though it's open. Now I'm going to open the anger one. Let's see how that would be. So this is the anger one and yeah this definitely is much more spoiled as you can see you can even see it from the outside and it is way more yellow than the previous one it is much more slimy it is more smelly too it is much more yellow if you can see it properly in the camera not sure but it is way more spoiled than the previous one this is the one with anger on it and in fact all throughout this time when i was testing these rice samples anger was the one that started spoiling the very first to my surprise because i was thinking that probably hate would be the one which is the next that i'm opening right now i thought maybe hate would be the one to spoil the fastest but actually anger was the one that started spoiling the most but right now, I think hate and anger pretty much looks very close to each other. I can show you both side by side. This one is the anger that I showed you previously and this is the hate one. There is not a huge difference between the two. I feel like the anger one has some liquid coming out of it too. The hate one also has some liquid coming out. But overall, I feel like both have spoiled more or less to the same extent. Maybe the hate one is a little bit more yellow than the anger one. But it's actually hard to tell. Maybe not. So they are pretty much very close to each other. I'm going to close these because I'm going to start to smell. <laughs> and now let's open the love one. So this is the one with the love. So of course it has been 12 days so all the rice samples are spoiled but the degree to which it is spoiled is different. I'm gonna remove some of the rice over here just so you can see. It also has some yellow particles in it of course. It has also started rotting but it is much less than anger and hate. I would say if I compared this with, compared the love with anger and hate, of course, it has spoiled much less. And if I compare the love with the um, let me show you. I feel like the one with the um has spoiled the least. So right now I'm holding the um, the primordial sound on my right hand. And this is the one with love. Oops, shit, I just... I just dropped a lot of water. So this one, that is the arm, does not have any water coming out of it. 
if you can tell the rice is of course spoiled but it is not as sticky as the rest and there is no water coming out of and this one had this one actually has quite a bit of water and i spilled some of the water over here this is the one with love and now i'm going to open the last one that is the peace jar and to my surprise actually this piece is quite spoiled too. It is more spoiled than um or love. I can see quite a bit of yellow rice in it. It is sticky too. Not as sticky as the anger or the hate one, but it is sticky. It has some water coming out of it, but not as much as the others. It's hard to show how much water there is. I don't want to spill it again. <laughs> but I am actually a little surprised to see that the piece sample is also more spoiled than the um and the love sample. Although I'm not surprised at the um sample, I feel like the um sample is the one that is the freshest, if you can call it that. Of course, they're all rotten and spoiling. But if I compare all of them side by side, then the um, that is the primordial sound, is the one that has spoiled the least. It is the one that has the least amount of water coming out of it. The rice is still not as sticky as the rest of the rice. The next would be love, which has some amount of water coming out of it. But if I compare how, how much yellow the rice has turned, it is less compared to peace. And of course, anger and hate, they are pretty much the same. They are very close. I cannot really tell much of a difference between anger and hate. This one is anger and this one is hate. Maybe the anger one is a little bit more yellow than the hate one. But both the rice is equally sticky and they have water coming out of it. So this was just a small little experiment that you can conduct at your own home to see how different words have different vibrations attached to them. And you could do this with a piece of fruit or vegetable or even with cooked rice. And you can see how the rice changes based on the vibration that it is being subjected to. And this experiment, as I mentioned previously, is based on the book by Masaru Emoto called The Hidden Messages in Water. I highly recommend checking out that book as that book has a lot of many other experiments that Dr. Masaru Emoto in Japan conducted on not just on rice, but also on water crystals primarily. And he also conducted experiments to show the impact of different types of religious textbooks or even different types of music or different types of TV shows or pictures or imagery on rice or water particles. So basically every single thing that we have in our environment has an energetic blueprint. It has a vibration attached to it, of course. And because we are living in this vibrational soup, we are all interacting with all these vibrations. So everything that we surround ourselves with is interacting with our body's energy field, with our vibration. And based on what kind of vibrations we are surrounding ourselves with, uh, based on that, what kind of influence it will have on our body is determined. So if you are surrounding yourself with vibrations of love, joy, then of course it will have one kind of effect. If you are surrounding yourself with vibrations of hate and anger, that will have a different kind of effect. And because each and every cell in our body is 70 to 80 percent water, and water has a high capacity to remember or it holds memory, the vibrations are very easily imprinted on water. And when we surround ourselves with higher vibrational things, then the water in our cells also get imprinted with that high vibration. If we surround ourselves with low vibrational things, whether it is music, whether it is images, whether it is TV shows, magazines, books, words, thoughts, emotions, doesn't matter. Every single thing has a vibrational imprint or an energetic blueprint. And because we are living in this energetic soup, we are interacting constantly with all these different energies. And that's why it is very essential for spiritual seekers, especially, who are wanting to raise their vibrations 
raise their frequencies or raise their consciousness or become more aware. It is very essential that they consciously choose what kind of environments or what kind of things that they are surrounding themselves with. What kind of books, what kind of people, what kind of TV shows, every single thing matters. So I hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to experiment with your own little experiment. I would love to know what you experimented with and what your results were. And if you like this video, then share this with your friends and family. And if you haven't already, then subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.